Thank you. For watching South Georgia. Hot shot. All right, guys, we are back at the spot. We are hooked back up to the trailer. Looks like everything's good. Nothing's uh, nothing's missing. The tarps are still there. My ramps are still there. These spares back here are still there. That's uh, it's a pretty good spot to park. It says no truck parking all over, but I'm being told that's was uh, that was from uh, Kmart. And you can see there's a few other trucks that park here. That's a hot shot or uh car trailer so but yeah everything looks good we got our ramps that's the biggest thing i worry about on this thing because that's that's probably the most expensive part on this trailer is those stupid ramps and it would suck to not have them anymore so let me uh let me do a quick pre-trip on this and we're gonna shoot it. look at the mountains oh man beautiful beautiful all right, let's get out of here. All right, guys, we made it to uh, Burley, Idaho. Idaho, Utaho. Um, we're probably 13 minutes from our pickup. Um, I think it's, uh, I think it's 9.30. Yeah, I think it's 9.30 at night, so I can start at 7.30 in the morning, which should give me plenty of time to be there at 8. Um, we got fat butts. Oh, it's so dark, you guys can't see. I should get like a light for this thing. Um, I'm just gonna walk Nola probably go straight to bed. Let's see if there's a sunset over here. We can look at I'm trying really hard not to film at night because I go back and I look at the footage and it looks like crap And what really pisses me off is all this footage that you guys have been watching here lately my uh, My stabilizer was turned off on my camera yeah, there's not much of a sunset anymore. All right, well, let me walk this dog in. We'll uh, we'll see you guys in the morning. All right, guys, it was a little too dark last night. It's uh, 6.30 in the morning now. A little too dark last night to show you the truck stops. Here, I'll give you guys a shot. Um, it's not very big. There is a Loves down the road, and I think there's a couple more uh, along the way. But according to Trucker Path, those other ones were full. I don't even think this one showed up on Trucker Pass. I'm not 100% sure. Check out uh, Nola's new jacket. It's called a uh, it's called a Thunder shirt because she's scared of everything. Um, I've been wanting to buy her one, and my brother basically made me buy one when I was at his house because he could see how uh, nervous she is about everything. I mean, if she sees her own shadow, she gets freaked out. <laughs> she's just. <laughs> She's so nervous all the time, but she's a good girl. She's a, she's a perfect dog. But we have, uh, like I said last night, we have about, uh, I think 13 minutes to, to our pickup. And I don't think we're supposed to be there till eight, but I think I'm gonna show up a little early. Maybe they can get us loaded early. Oh, I stopped by, uh, I stopped by Pilot yesterday and, uh, bought another over over dimensional uh, flag or um, banner the ones with the holes in it so now we have two of those and I bought uh, a couple of over dimensional uh, the flags that hang off the sides and I bought the uh, magnet setups so I'll, I'll have four magnets to hang flags off of stuff when I need them so let me take this girl for a walk and then uh, we'll get back to you later
Oh, it's a baby bird. All right, guys. We've uh, moved down to the uh, loves, uh, the loves truck stop because the uh, the bathrooms were out of order down there where we were parked. So I just popped it in PC mode real fast. Now we're at loves, uh, and they have locked the doors. They're not letting anybody in here for some reason. So I'm not sure what to do here. I guess, I guess you can only get fuel here. All right guys, so we've gone around and checked all the doors. All the doors are locked. They're not letting anybody in. I don't know if they're just going around cleaning up the store, desanitizing it for this uh, flu virus, but uh, they're not letting anybody in. So I guess they expect truck drivers just to Piss and shit in the well they do that anyways. Let's 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 be honest. Nothing's gonna really change there. But I was hoping to get some breakfast. So I don't know. I think technically we have about 30 more minutes before we can start driving. Um What a bummer. That's uh that's sad man. I, I really like loves. Guess I'm glad I don't have to fuel here. flagged up waiting to get this tank loaded we've got the front flagged uh, just waiting broker called me and was like hey they want to know why you're not there yet I was like uh, we're underneath the crane what are you guys talking about this is the problem with companies man nobody knows the right hand never knows what the left hand is doing it's ridiculous
a little bit more. How does this thing do?
probably as centered as we're going to get. Does that motor stick off? Sad, you've got to put locks in it. You get a lock in it. I had a brand new generator for a long time. Unless I got my trailer and got my truck all summer long and the locks on it just to try to deep pull these people. Yeah. I know that they really want that. It only slows them down. It'll take them to kill them. But they at least if I keep it on there, it might deep pull them. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah. They just walked in and come out. Yeah, he just wants to get in the middle here, right? Uh Curtis, you want that in the middle or Can we set them other pallets if they put that in the center? Oh, there's more than this? We got here's that camel box and that one powder. Wow. Yeah, so the broker lied. It's supposed to be 16 feet long. Good thing I brought a 40 footer, huh? Not a 15 foot trailer. Yeah, that's pretty cool.
All right, guys, we are loaded up. So let me explain this load a little bit. Sometimes when you click on a load, on the load board, uh, so what happens is truck stop notifies the broker about how many people click on their loads and gives them their MC number or their DOT number or whatever. That way they can call them. Um, now I've bitched about this in the past that I don't like, I don't like truck stop letting them know how many clicks they get, but I could stop it on my end. But if you guys don't stop it on your end, then it, it'll never, it, it won't stop. It won't help for me to just do it. It would take everybody to do it so that they know that their load isn't like super popular. So basically I'd clicked on this load and I seen that it was an oversized and I was like, well, I just don't feel like doing oversized. Let me see what else there is. And I'm clicking through and I'm looking at other loads. A little bit later on in the day, I get a phone call and she's like, hey, I uh, seen that you were looking at our load. And I hate when they do that, you know? Okay, I, I was, yeah, I was, I was looking at your load. Who are you? You know, it's like, why don't you tell me who you are or what the load is? So then they have to, oh, oh, let me pull it up. It's like, really? You called me without having, the... anyways. So, situation with this was they were uh, paying $1,700 for, no, they were paying five, God, I'll have to look. It was like, it was like $2 a mile for this. And I said, I, I absolutely never run an oversized load for less than $2.50 a mile plus permits. So she sat down and figured it out. She's like, okay, I can give you that. Now this was supposed to be 19 feet, 7,500 pounds. Um, as you can see, it's a lot more than 19 feet. So as soon as these guys started talking about, well, we've got more stuff to put on here. I was like, oh, okay. Well, I guess the broker lied. So I had Lita get on the horn. She contacted the broker and she's like, look, this is uh, this is basically full trailer, which honestly I would have, I would have done it for two. I, I figured 250 a mile for a 40 footer. But if you're going to put 19 foot partial oversized load over dimensional load on the board, then I'm going to hold you to that. Um, just like you would hold me to anything else that I would say. So basically we're at uh, 350 a mile now. So that'll be nice. Um, I was gonna use chains on this, but this is uh, stainless steel. I, I bought some magnets for these flags and I was unable to use it on this load because this is stainless steel. Stainless steel isn't magnetic. So I was gonna chain it and they're like, well, you'd have to have rubber touching everywhere. And I was like, well, I got some rubber pieces. Maybe I should try it. And then I was like, you know what? Screw it, let's just throw a Let's just throw some straps on it and roll with it like this. We'll just keep an eye on it. If if it looks like it's walking around a little bit, we'll throw we'll throw some chains on it somehow and figure something out. One thing I could have done that I, I should probably do is get some of those um, those D rings that you can feed through holes and then you can tie to the D ring with a chain. I, I definitely need to pick up some of those because that would uh, that would be nice because I could put I could put one back here pulling back this way and I could have put one up here pulling up that way. And then with the straps on top of that, it would have been even better. So anyways, we're loaded up. Um, let's go. So on top of all of um, the load being longer than they said, Lita got to looking at our permits and our permit place messed up. The permit place put, that put down that it was nine, nine feet wide. So they're running in and they're going to fix that real fast. Um, I'd like to find a weigh station. I guess I could run back to that Loves this morning and weigh this thing just to make sure. And then we'll hit the road. All right, guys, it is lunchtime. I've stopped at a pilot to get something to eat. I didn't, uh, I didn't have any breakfast this morning because of that Loves truck stop. Um, they did end up opening up right before I left, but they said that you weren't allowed to take a shower and they weren't allowing uh, Jack in the Box to open up. Um, so basically, essential workers like truck drivers are, you know, they want us to work, but they don't want us to be able to take a shower or get something to eat. They did have this stupid little hot dog roller going, which I think is freaking ridiculous if you're worried about COVID. Um, why are you letting people grab on hot dogs and shit? You know? So... Because this was longer, they asked us how much more we wanted. We were originally getting 1,700 for 19 feet. So I figured, hey, we're making it easy, an even 2,000, right? That should be okay. Let me run across the thing here. 
uh, uh, uh. like 300 bucks. An extra 300 bucks for almost another 20 feet? Shit, they'll be ecstatic about that. They came back and they're like, oh no. Let me turn you guys around. They're like, oh no. No, all we can do is 150. I'm like, all right, I'll turn around and drop this shit off. And uh, you guys can pay me $600 for wasting my time here. And then all of a sudden, all magically, oh, oh okay, okay, we, we can do the 2000. Like, yeah, I know you can. So I've also already picked up a load 30 miles from where we're dropping this tomorrow and going down to uh, Sacramento, California for $2 a mile. Super nervous about going to California. I've only been once and that was when we had a load. It was a, a drop pick or so we would drop and we'd pick up at the same exact place and bring it back. Um, I don't know, we'll see what happens. Like I said, I'm trying to stay out west for the job because the job might be coming up and uh, for Sturgis. So, uh, I don't know, let me run in here and take a leak. I gotta get something to eat. Talk to you guys.